Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have another chit chat vlog, catching up and stuff like that. And did you notice I don't have coffee right now because it's already 10 o'clock in the morning and um, I was, you know, I already had my coffee earlier and I have like a few minutes before our homeschool will start. So today this is what I've been doing. Um, I'm actually organizing my closet. Yesterday, I started cleaning up my closet and I'm going to donate some of my clothing that I don't wear anymore and I don't and I don't use. I'm going to be donating a few shoes, accessories, and some of my handmade clothes. Did you ever wonder what do I do with all this um, sewing projects or these clothes that I've been making? Some of them I actually use. Some of them I wear. Like this dress that I'm wearing right now, I made this like last year. And I've been wearing it, you know, like ever since. I actually just, um, I just, I put this away a few months ago because I've been wearing it a lot. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get used to it and all of a sudden I'll be tired of it. So I put it away for a few months. Um, usually my closet is pretty organized. I just like to switch my clothes once in a while. Actually every month I switch it up because I made so much clothes and I buy so much clothes in the thrift store. If I don't do that, um, it's going to accumulate. And then some of the some of the clothes that I don't wear anymore, I actually put them in one basket yesterday. One basket full of clothes and accessories that I will be donating this weekend. I have some shoes that are like from 10 years ago that um, I only use once or twice. So, you know, just donate them because um, I've been buying shoes a lot as well. So I don't want to accumulate shoes and all of a sudden I'm running out of space. Just I don't like clutter. I'm not minimalist. I'm actually slightly embracing the minim minimalism trend right now, but I'm not minimalist. I still like to buy stuff, but in moderation. I decided to. So I just I'm actually, I'm actually really sore right now. My back, my my whole body is aching. Actually, it was because yesterday Abby and I did Zumba cardio dance here in my office. So <laughs> needless to say, I have a back pain. So yeah. Anyway. Um, so that's that. How I I keep my closet organized. You know, some of the clothes that I make here on YouTube, you know, like the lace up tops, shorts, you know, like the clothes that I, I know I can't wear. Those kind of stuff, like crop tops that I made and, and shorts, I will be donating them. And i also going to donate, um, did you remember the dress that I made, the homecoming dress? I'm also going to be donating that dress. So yeah, so somebody can enjoy it. It's also what I've been doing. I've been organizing this closet. So if you, if I open it up, it's not super organized yet. Can you see the fabrics over there? I like looking at beautiful fabrics. So I put them there. Probably need to get more of these because I know I have a lot of small little things in this closet. Those are all my accessories that I want to keep. So I probably have like 10 accessories or 10 necklaces that I'll be donating. I'll put it in the basket already. It's, this closet is pretty much empty now that I, I organized it. So now it's so clean right there. I was thinking once I clean up the, this whole closet, I'll be putting more fabrics here. Cause I, cause right now my fabrics are all put away in a plastic tote bin, and I don't like it like that because once you fold, it will have like these creases on the fabric, and I don't like that. That's why I just display them like that. Yeah, usually, you know, all my finished projects, I usually hang them here or up there. But now that I'll be donating most of them you know like the stuff that i never use in a day-to-day -day basis um now this closet is pretty clean that's it you guys and i hope you like this chit chat and i will see you soon bye